South Wales councillor's sensational claims against mayoral candidate Tom Tate. Police nab a suspect in a new ATM scam. Powerful waves put a trawler in strife and surfers in heaven. Live from Surfers Paradise, this is Nine Gold Coast News with Bruce Page. Good evening. Explosive allegations have emerged against mayoral candidate Tom Tate one week out from the local election. The former mayor of Albury claims, despite Mr Tate's denials, he was heavily involved in the demise of Surfers Paradise Bowls Club. Tessa Scott's been following the story. Tessa, what reaction from Mr Tate today? Well, Bruce, we telephoned Mr Tate this morning and at first he refused to speak to us on camera, saying he wouldn't entertain what he called blatant lies. Now, he did change his mind later this afternoon and I will have that interview for you shortly. But Mr Tate was very quick to discredit our source. Amanda Duncan Strelick is a former mayor and current councillor in Albury, New South Wales. Now, there's no doubting that she's an outspoken and controversial figure. But Mr Tate insists she's simply out for revenge after losing to him in a Supreme court case. Amanda Duncan Strelick sounds this warning to Gold Coast voters. He uses, he's got multiple companies and he uses friends, puts his friends on these companies. Do not let that man become me. She claims a business partnership with Tom Tate in 2005 left her bankrupt. Our story on Wednesday night with angry former members of Surfers Paradise Bowls Club prompted her to speak out. Mr Tate denied he had anything to do with the club's purchase or its eventual collapse and was merely a minority shareholder. But Councillor Duncan Strelick has a very different recollection. He was talking to me about how he was trying to get hold of the Surface Paradise Bowls Club. She claims Mr Tate told her how he planned to bring about the club's demise. And then we'll renovate and we'll drag out the renovations so that they can't use their, um, their only in income making areas, which was their bar and their restaurant and I think their poker machines. I wasn't quite across it. Uh, and he said, uh, and then they'll end up foreclosing because they won't be able to pay their lease payments, so they'll have to relocate. Mr Tate insists the claims are fabricated and the conversation never happened. And that's what worried me sick about Tate running for mayor, because if he gets mayor, God help people on the Gold Coast. Now this afternoon we received a letter from Mr Tate and in it he said if our story is to air then he reserves his right to initiate defamation proceedings. Now uh, we informed his PR team that the story would be running and then Mr Tate asked for a right to reply. Here's what he had to say just a short time ago. These allegations are untrue. I now know how Campbell Newman feels. This smear campaign is generated by sitting councillors who are running for mayor. They don't want change for the betterment of our city. Tom, anything else you want to add? Anything else you want to say? I've got a lot of good policy. I'm going to go forward and put it to the people of the Gold Coast. Now, Bruce, just a week out from the election and it's sure going to be an interesting run-up to polling day. It will be. Thank you, Tessa.